Hey, what's up guys? It's Andy over at Tripillar Fitness. This morning I was going to give you a little insight on our intake. What we do when people first come in the door, when we are talking to them, helping them get set up with goals. First thing we'll tell you is that this is more than just a workout. That's If that's all you want, you can 24, the Y, any of those places are fine. And I have no problem telling people that because that's not what we want here. I'm not looking for someone who's just coming looking for a workout and then they're going to leave. Because I will tell you this, they will never see change. They're not going to get results because it's not the only part of the picture that's missing. Lots more things. So we focus a little bit. We get a little deeper. So I'm just going to give you some insight here, and you can use this in your own. That's fine. You can do, do this to yourself. I actually want you to sit down and go through some of these questions and figure out what it is you really want. Okay? So number one is what we ask. Define what it is you actually want. And I will dig deeper. I'm not going to hear this. I want to lose weight. No. I, deeper. I want more than that. Not just I want to lose weight. Tell me what it is that you truly want. What are you sick of? What are you tired of dealing with? What do you no longer have the patience for or you just can't take it anymore? You're done. Okay? What is it that you want? When you can define that, this is going to be a whole lot easier. And it's going to lead into some of our next questions. How will affecting this goal, or I'm sorry, how will achieving this goal affect your life, your family, your community, etc.? Because I don't think people think about that. When I have people come in and they're really wanting to lose weight. So I ask about their family. Oh, they eat terribly and they don't work out. Okay, you're going to struggle. I don't care what you do. No matter what I give you, you're going to struggle because you have no one on your side. If they're not willing to get involved and help, if they're going to keep following the same habits, then you're going to. Imagine if you're a smoker and you're trying to stop, but your husband smokes. Okay? You stop. He still smokes. You know how hard it's going to be for you to stop to not pick up another cigarette? Very challenging. So if you're trying to, if you're working on not eating as terribly for dinner, and you come home and your husband orders a pizza... Or your wife, it doesn't matter, whichever one, whoever's not there. Or your kids, if they're there, and they're like, oh, we're getting pizza for dinner. Do you know how challenging that's going to be? You're using up all your willpower right there if you're not going to do it. And eventually it's going to give. So we need to look and see. Um, are you a leader in the community? How much is that change going to affect how you help everyone else around you? That's going to be big. Every time we, we don't just make small changes and then see only that change. It doesn't just hit the one spot. It's not like you lose weight and you're like, oh, I lost some weight. Cool. It's going to change who you are. You're going to be a happier person. You're probably going to try to do things you haven't done before because you're going to feel more confident. It's going to change who you are. It's a big deal. So we really have to look at these things. Um, your friends, your relationships, they will change. Again, same thing. I don't care what you say if you're trying to lose weight and you're still doing the same stuff you've always done. Go out with your girlfriends on Friday night for cocktails. Every Friday night, you're always going to struggle. I mean, it's just how it's going to be. There is literally no way around that. It's not Unless you decide to cut that back, it's going to be a struggle. So things begin to change. Um, next question we really ask. I have to hit on this one. How bad do you want it? Oh, I want it bad. No, no. How bad do you actually want this? What are you willing to get? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you going to sacrifice things to get where you want to be? Everyone who makes a big change has to make sacrifices. That's not a bad thing. People look at sacrificing as a bad thing. Myself, I don't watch as much TV anymore. Um, I lo used to love video games. Played the crap out of them. I don't do that as much anymore. Because I had, I have, I have, I still have huge goals in my life, not just for my business, not just for fitness, not just for my for my life in general, everything. I'm always looking to improve myself, and those things got in the way. Binge watching something on Netflix all weekend does not help me get where I want to be, and I realize that. It's not a bad thing if you do it. You're not a bad person if you do. But if you want something more, you just wasted a day or two that you could have gotten better because it's all a process. So what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to give up beers on Friday night? Every other week with your buddies, are you willing to? Are you willing to cancel your cable membership? Cancel your cable so that you can get a coach to help you. Are you willing to do that? A lot of people say no, no, I can't. I'm not doing that. I am not doing all that. 
And then I talk to them a year later, and they're still where they were. Same exact spot. Again, it does not make you bad. Emotion is taken out of this. It does not make you bad, but you made a choice. You chose something. So if you don't improve, that was your choice. What are you willing to sacrifice? Think about it. What will you do when it gets tough? How are you going, what are you going to do? Are you going to reach out? Are you just going to throw in the towel? The first obstacle you run into, uh, whatever, I can't do this. No. Right here. You've got to persevere. Your mind has to get stronger. It will be hard, but you do it anyway. Learn to build up that self-discipline, and you can do it. If you're hiring a coach, if you're working with me, you could reach out to me. If you're working with the gym, we got members here, tons of people that were willing to be help, to help you. As long as you get involved with us, chat with us, talk to these people, people that are here will help you. That's the point of this. But what will you do? How are you going to keep persevering? So you have to think about that. What will you? How will you get that far? And this is a big one. Are you coachable? If I t- ask you, okay, hey, I need to see a food journal for three days. Ah, I hate writing food journals. Well, that's great, but when you're getting coached, that's what you're doing. You know, you need to listen to what we ask you and let us help you. The things that we know, what I've done works, man. I've helped a lot of people. I know there's four or five members of the gym right now who have lost 60 plus pounds. Okay? Right now, that I can, off the top of my head. And lots of others who have changed their lives around for the better. If it's not for weight loss, they have just changed completely who they are. They have listened to what I've asked. Now, I'm not saying that immediately you're going to change every single habit. That's not going to happen. But if you listen and slowly follow along with the process, the change will come. It's not about the short term, the instant gratification. We don't do that. If that's what you're looking for, you can quit watching right now because I don't do that. It doesn't work. It does not work. Long term is what's going to give you the best results. I've been training and doing this stuff going on 13 years now. I have been working on building my business now for five. I, this didn't happen overnight. I started in my apartment. I didn't give up. I had 150 square feet. Okay, I didn't stop. I have clients who come in here. They're not, I mean, they are, eat a lot of fast food. Obviously, they're not going to stop that all at one time, so we cut it in half. You don't have to give everything up at once, but you have to be willing to be coached and let us help you. Hold on, i got to scroll for my last, I can't remember. This is a big one. What is your guarantee to yourself? Are you going to see this through to the end? I see people start and three weeks later, used to, not anymore. I vet people very, very hard when they first start. I want to make sure that we get the right people in the place because we have a great group of people who are making great changes and are very positive and outgoing. I want to add to that. I don't want to bring in someone who's going to be a downer. Oh, I just can't do it. It's just too hard. Well, you know what? That's No, you can do it. You're freaking awesome. You just don't know it yet. You just don't have that belief right here. As soon as you get that belief, you're going to see things change. That's not some BS motivational speaking. That's truth. You can do a lot if you just let yourself do it. Just go do it. That is the beauty from it. Follow through with these things I just told you. Look at them all. Surround yourself with great people. Have a positive mind. Start doing things that are going to lead you in the right direction, and you will see amazing results. But Think about the guarantee. What is your guarantee? And when you hold yourself to that guarantee, oh, man, great things can happen. Okay, I hope this was informative. I know it was a long video, but I talk a lot. But I also like to help people a lot. So if you watch this video the whole way through and there's anything I can do to help you, reach out to us. Okay? Reach out and let's see what we can do to help you. Okay? Again, Andy at Tri-Pillar Fitness. Thanks, guys.